Christopher Wildon's The Winter's Tale is a ballet adaptation of Shakespeare's play of the same name. I'm dancing a role called Hermione, the Queen of Sicily. I play King Leontes, the King of Sicilia. I'm perfectionist, King of Bohemia, childhood friend of Leontes. In the prologue, it's very important to show our own character each, how we are and the relationship between us. The friendship between the two kings, the love relationship with Leontis and I, the loving son, and everything is just beautiful. I think it's the calm before the storm comes. when he suddenly believes that Polixenes and Hermione have had an affair and that the child she's gonna bear is, in fact, Polixenes's. He starts to move his hands in a way that resembles sort of a spider, and Chris has done this to reference the actual script of Shakespeare where he refers to the jealousy like a spider. His whole physicality sort of shifts to a bit more of this animalistic, distorted quality of movement. It really sort of transforms him. It's interesting because I've never been pregnant, <laughs> but by having this belly, I feel already like a mother where I need to protect my baby. There's a moment quite aggressive when he's throwing me around, I have this belly, I constantly have a feeling that I need to protect my baby. He throws his own wife into prison. While she's in prison, she gives birth to the baby. He banishes the baby to Bohemia. And then from there, Hermione stands trial, and their son is so overcome with trauma and grief at the sight of his parents in such discourse that the son dies. It destroys the family, it destroys the friendship, and he basically loses everything. Sixteen years later, the second act takes place in the land of uh, Bohemia. I danced the role of Pertita, the abandoned daughter of King Leontes, and she's in love with uh, Floricel. Me, the Prince Floricel. <laughs> there is a very big difference between the first act, which is very dark, I would say, and uh, the roles in the team are almost heavy. When the second act opens up, you almost feel a fresh air coming up. Their connection is tender, passionate, and full of innocence, expressed through light, flowing choreography. So after my father Polixenis finds out about our relationship and doesn't approve it, uh, we go to Sicily, to Leontes' kingdom, and we ask for his support. He discovers that Perdita is in fact his lost child who he banished to Bohemia. So it sort of is like, this revelation that all the pieces sort of fall into place. And just when you sort of think the conclusion has reached its end, there's a statue that's revealed of Hermione and, and their son. I really love the moment when she is standing there after 16 years. So in the beginning, you don't even know whether she's dead, if she's alive, where has she been? And you see Leontes walking towards you. He doesn't know, he can't believe what he's seeing. He doesn't know if you're alive or dead. And he has all these regrets what he's done. Hermione doesn't actually look directly into Leontes' eyes. There's not an immediate forgiveness there. She's still holding on to the grief and the pain of losing her firstborn child at the hands of her husband's actions. So you can see it takes a while for it to sort of reach its climax where the two of them look into each other's eyes and there's that reconciliation. And I think what I really like about this ballet is that it's somewhat happy ending after a big range of emotions, drama and pain. I think it's a very nice way of also finishing this tragedy in a beautiful way. Mm -hmm.